Alright, hey everyone, uh, welcome back to GTA Online with the Geeks189 and uh, today we, uh, as you can tell, we're doing some more um, cell missions and uh, unlike the last video that we uploaded, um, this time round uh, there's three of us um, mm. at the minute, uh, obviously I, um, I'm i here um, and we've got Sam and Jordan with us this time. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we are um, we are back. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a slightly more regular schedule now. Um, so we're going to try and stick to that. Uh, and right, so we're just going to get straight into it. Um, so first off, uh, just after my last video. Um, like the video I uploaded uh, previously, the little update on everything that was going on. Um, only a couple of days later, on Friday, that was Friday the 2nd of June, um, Rockstar gave us a huge new uh, post of information about gun running. Uh, so you, you guys are remembering the video that I uploaded the other day. Um, I told you guys and updated you guys about the information we received on gun running uh, recently and um, so that that was pretty much all we had at the time but uh, as I said on Friday we got another huge snippet of information about gun running and uh, I've got the page open here uh, so I'm going to fill you guys in on some of the information that you may or may not have heard about. So, um, first off, we've got the uh, mobile command centres, uh, mobile operation centres that were teased in this new post. Um, we got a lot of information about them here. Um, so we found out that these are going to be sort of like lorry trailers that <coughs> um, that are going to obviously be pulled by uh, a. Um, a big rig um, and in the photo that they showed us of these mobile operation centers they were being pulled by the phantom uh, lorry and um, we're going to just talk a little bit about that quickly um, so we first off we saw that um, in the uh, newswire post that Rockstar put up they told us that the uh, the uh, phantom itself which we'll get with the uh, mobile operations centre. It will actually include um, a lot of customization options for it. So you'll now be able to modify the uh, the Phantom that's connected to your mobile operations centre. This should uh, help you um, in making the mobile operations centre a little bit more uh, defensive. Um, since Impressive. obviously the since obviously the phantom will probably take less damage, we'll probably have the ability to put armor onto it, and different things like that. Um, we also found out as well that the mobile operations center itself um, will actually have a lot of upgrades and modifications. Um, we got a lot more information about how the mobile operations center will work. Um, we found out that there are going to be customization <coughs> options um, to add in a vehicle workshop, a weapons workshop, luxury living quarters, and also a command center. So um, this sort of gives a little bit of a hint in a way that we're going to be able to, if we have the um, if we have the vehicle workshop. Um, modifications we're probably going to be able to drive some of the vehicles maybe even all of them into uh, into the mobile operations center um, and it, it states on the newswire that we'll be able to modify them uh, and uh, we'll be able to sort of work on our vehicles from there um, obviously the the weapons um, the weapons uh, workshop that's going to be in there is obviously going to be for actually um, getting our um, 
getting our weapon modifications. Uh, we also found out as well that obviously uh, the luxury living quarters probably means that the uh, mobile operations center is going to be a um, is it's highly likely that it's going to be a um, spawn location that we'll be able to use within the game. Um, also, we've it? discovered one. Uh, they said there was going to be luxury, luxury living quarters in the, in in my apartment and in my office. Not very luxury. It's kind of boring. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um. So the the next uh thing that we saw was uh. We got a little bit more information about the bunkers and uh, also how research is going to work in um, in gun running. So we found out that um, firstly the uh, the bunkers are going to be large enough to store our weaponized vehicles and the uh, mobile operations center inside them. Um, so that that obviously really gives us a bit more of an idea of the scale of the bunkers. Um, Hopefully that should mean that the bunkers are going to have a lot of customization options. Um, now, moving on to the uh, the research, we have found out obviously that um, the research um, is going to be done by scientists within our bunkers. Um, so we're going to have scientists in these bunkers that will be making uh, some kind of product for us to sell. Uh, we haven't really received any information on what this product will be, but since obviously the DLC is called Gun Running, we would assume that that means that we're going to be selling some kind of arms shipments, maybe um, weaponry, ammunition, different things like that. Um, but it does say that we'll be able to get our research staff in our bunkers to actually turn to researching modifications and upgrades for some of our weapons and our vehicles um, within gun running, which uh, obviously is going to be quite a new and interesting way to receive new upgrades. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I mean, it could be that we'll have to um, we'll have to research the upgrades and then buy them. Uh, or we could research them and then get the upgrades. Um, so that, that kind of helps with that. Um, I'm going to leave the link to the uh, Newswire post in the description below. So that you guys can go and check out any of the new information on there. Um, I'll let you guys um, have a little bit more of a look at it. Now, uh, on the day of recording, this is... Um, this is actually the 5th currently, the 5th of June. Um, there is a possibility that uh, Gunring will be releasing on the 6th. Um, if it does, yeah, which is tomorrow. If it does, we are going to bring bringing you a launch uh, video. So a, a uh, GTA Online Gunrunning launch video, uh, which hopefully we're hoping you guys are going to get to see tomorrow. Um, obviously, Rockstar haven't confirmed yet whether or not we're going to get gun running tomorrow. Uh, they haven't really confirmed when we're going to get gun running. So, um, it, it will be interesting to see if we do get it tomorrow. Um, obviously, uh, everyone's hoping that we do. Because uh, it's going to be nice to have something new to do in GTA Online. Um, but yeah, so um, that that's um, that's gun running. Uh, that's all that we know for now. Uh, as I said, hopefully we'll be bringing you a little bit more about it tomorrow. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just gonna like crack on with a few more of these uh, vehicle cargo missions for a little bit.
Nice car. Sorry if the um, if the content of this video is a little bit um, is a little bit slow. Um, we we wanted to get a video out to you guys, but um, it's currently um, about twenty to eleven here, uh, so it's uh, obviously it's getting quite late now, and we've been um, we've been at this for a while now. Uh, we've been playing for most of the evening um, starting to get a little bit worn out now obviously so um, yeah that, that's it. if our content seems a little bit uh, a little bit slow or a little bit quiet then um, that's why Just and uh, hopefully the yeah hopefully the the next video should be a little bit more um, a little bit more energetic uh, we're just obviously having a hard time staying awake at this point, so... Wait, can you please help? Trying. Alright, guy's dead. I'll take your car, Sam, and I'll help with getting... I want this car. I want another version of this. The more posher version. Uh, I don't know what this police helicopter is doing right now. Um, Well, apparently it's going to crash. Um, <laughs> this police helicopter genuinely just landed in the middle of the road. Really? Thanks, buddy. I don't know why he landed in the middle of the road there, but I guess he felt like being nice and just brought me a helicopter. Whoever's making a bro, I love them. Hey Sam, look up. Oh, they can't just make myself a coffee. Yeah, well, you're not making me one, would you? It's a woman since six. Mind you, I've got monster in the bag. Mm. That's better than coffee. Maybe that would work. It's better than coffee. I can't be moved to get out. Oh. Waking up the six was a bad idea. Mm. <laughs> I'm on a countdown. Seven, six, five. Oh, no, that's not top range. That's top range. That was close, I nearly blew it up. Hmm. 
in college on the 24th. Yeah, so do I. What time? Uh, I believe 9 o'clock, I think it is. I can't remember without looking at the letter. 9 till 12. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well the helicopter's gone then. Hmm. Kinda hoping that'll do more damage. Where's the jet? What? Where's the jet? Many places. I guess it's just clearly there. not there. Alright guys, um, we're, we're probably going to end the video there, um, so sorry if this uh, video has maybe been a little bit slow for you guys, um, obviously as I said it's quite late now, so um, yeah, um, right, we're going to call the video there, um, if there is any more information on gun running or if gun running itself actually releases, uh, I will let you guys know. Um, and there'll be a video hopefully fairly soon afterwards um, but for now guys um, thanks for watching this video um, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like below um, also if there's anything you want to see in our videos or you have any feedback for us please leave that in the comments um, and also if you haven't subscribed yet uh, or you're new to the channel then uh, please uh, go and subscribe um, so that you don't miss out on any of the content that we upload um, so uh, thanks for watching guys and goodbye <laughs>